Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains class 10, Social Studies Volume Pure, previous year paper 2022, question paper set B. You can also find other Volume Pure papers of class 10 in my channel. I have given the playlist link in the description box. Please do watch. Sample paper for this uh, current year that is for 2023 is as same as the previous year. And the previous year paper it has been already uploaded in my channel. So I'm just giving the video link in the description box. Please do watch for your reference. Okay. So before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video now. Yeah, first section is it is history. In this, it contains totally 15 questions. Each carry one mark. Question number one. Regular troops and a large number of armed volunteers marched into South Italy in 1860. They won the support of the local peasant to drive out the Spanish rulers. Who was leading this march? Options are Giuseppe Garibaldi or Victor Emmanuel, Giuseppe Mazzini, Otto von Bismarck. The right answer is, it's option A, Giuseppe Garibaldi. Question number 2. In, to be filled up, Mahatma Gandhi decided to withdraw the non-cooperation movement. Options are February 1922, January 1921, June 1923, December 1922. The right answer is, it's option A, February 1922. Question number 3. The Lahore Congress formalized the demand of Apurna Swaraj, a full independence for India in December 1929. Who was presiding this Congress section? Just go through the option. The right answer is it's option B, Jawaharlal Nehru. Question number four. In April 1930, a devout disciple of Mahatma Gandhi, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was arrested. To protest this, people demonstrated in the streets of Peshawar, facing armored cars and police firing. This incident happened during Swadeshi movement. Raulat Satyagraha, Civil Disobedience Movement, Quit India Movement. The right answer is, it's option C, Civil Disobedience Movement. Question number 5. What were the causes that lead to the decline of a weaving industry in India? Options are, by the 1850s, their export markets collapsed and the local markets shrank. The cheap machine produced cloths from Manchester gluted the Indian market. America stopped cotton exports to Britain because of the civil war, so cotton began to be exported from India, leading to a shortage of raw material in India. Option D is all of this. Right answer is it's option D. Question number 6. Refer to the given picture. What does this picture signify? Option A. An Indian mill cloth label. Advertisement to popularize a baby product. Calendar to popularize a soap. Advertisement of a hand woven cloth. The right answer is it's option B. Advertisement to popularize a baby product. Question number 7. Weavers in India started using fly shuttle by the second decade of the 28th century. By 1941, 70-80% handlooms were fitted with fly shuttles in Travancore, Madras, Mysore, all of this. The right answer is, it's option D, all of this. Question paper 8. Bibliothek a blue where low-priced small books printed on poor quality paper in France, Germany, England, Spain. The answer is, it's option A, France. Question number 9. X wrote 95 theses which criticized the rituals and practices of the Roman Catholic Church. 
A printed copy of this was posted on a search door. His writings were reproduced in large number and read widely by the people. He said, printing is the ultimate gift of God and the greatest one. Identify X. Options are Martin Luther, Johannes Gutenberg, Marco Polo, Jan Austen. The right answer is, it's option A, Martin Luther. Question number 10. Introduction of printing press in India helped the reformers to express their ideas. Ram Mohan Roy published his newspaper Sambad Kaumudi in 1821. To oppose his opinions, Hindu orthodoxy published a Bengal Gazette, a Bombay Samachar, Samsul Akbar, Samachar Chandrika. The right answer is its option T, Samachar Chandrika. Question number 11. In the 18th century, French society was divided into three estates. Which of these is incorrectly matched? First estate to clergy and second estate to big businessmen. And third estate is to peasants and option D is it none of this. So which of these is incorrectly matched? It's option B, second estate to a big businessman. Question number 12. The fall of monarchy in Russia took place in 1905, 1919, 1928, 1917. The right answer is, it's option D, 1917. Question number 13. We do not consider it correct for the woman to interfere in the world of the man in his main sphere. We consider it natural that these two worlds remain distinct. This extract has been taken from a speech at the Nuremberg Party Rally in September 1934. Who expressed this view about women in a speech? Options are Joseph Stalin, Vladimir Lenin, Adolf Hitler and Halmer Schacht. The right answer is it's option C. Adolf Hitler. Question number 14. Which of the following communities of Kangar Forest? initiated the rebellion against the colonial government because the colonial government proposed to stop shifting cultivation, hunting, collection of forest, produced and reserved two-thirds of the forest. Options are Maria, Gons, Durvas, Batras. The right answer is it's option C, Durvas. Question number 15. Many forest acts were enacted by the colonial government by the mid-19th century. It changed the life of the pastoralist communities. Given are few ways that pastoralists used to cope with these changes. The first one, some reduced the number of cattle in their herd. Some discovered new pastures. Many of them, like the Raikas, moved to Sindh. Some rich pastoralists bought land and settled down. Select the correct ones. So just go through the given points. Statement 1, 2 and 4 are correct. So finally your answer is it's option B. The next section is geography. Question number 16. Another name for black soil is Kadar, Regur, Laterite, Bangal. The right answer is it's option B. Regur. Question number 17. Local communities often struggle to conserve the forest habitats along with the government officials. Villagers in Sariska Tiger Reserve, Reserve protested against mining. This tiger reserve is located in Assam, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh. The right answer is it is situated in Rajasthan. Question number 18. What are tankas in the semi-arid and arid regions of Rajasthan? Type of cropping pattern, a system of rainwater, rainwater harvesting, a system of water canals, type of drip irrigation system. The right answer is it's option B, a system of rainwater harvesting. Question number 19. Which of the following institutional reforms were given? Priority to improve agricultural output after independence. Collectivization, consolidation of holdings, cooperation, 
abolition of jamindari so the question is which of the following institutional reforms were given priority to improve the agricultural output right after the independence so the given statement which is given over here no all the given statements or the reforms were the given priority to improve the agricultural output so option d is the right answer for this question question number 20 in india which of the following types of economic activities in agriculture primary activity secondary activity tertiary activity all of this so in india agricultural activity is the primary activity so option a is the right answer question number 21 metallic minerals are classified into ferrous non ferrous and precious minerals which of the given minerals are non ferrous options are manganese bauxite lead cobalt zinc copper so which of the given minerals are non ferrous bauxite lead zinc and copper so option c is the right answer question number 22 names of the four sea ports of india are given below arrange them from north to south and select the correct option options are sir the statement are the name of the four sea ports are marmagova new mangalore kandala tutukuri so we have to arrange from north to south right so which would come first kandala then marmagova then after that yes it's new mangalore the last one is tutikiran which is present which is situated in tamil nadu in the south so finally option a is the right answer question number 23 the pressure difference between pacific ocean that is 18 degree south to 149 degree west and indian ocean 120 degree 120 degree 30 south and 131 degree east is computed to predict the intensity of the monsoons if the difference are negative it would lead to a late monsoons early monsoons more than average monsoons no monsoons the right answer is it's option a a late monsoons question number 24 which of the given animals are found in the swampy and marshy lands of assam and west bengal just go through the option Yes, it's option D is the right answer. It is one horn rhinoceros. Okay, this is the animal which is found in marshy lands of Assam and West Bengal. Number twenty-five. According to the census of two thousand eleven, population density in India is two three hundred and eighty-two percent square square meter, square kilometer. But some states have the population density below two fifty percent per square kilometer. what is the reason for the sparse population in these states options are abundant rainfall rugged terrain flat plains unfavorable unfavorable climatic condition so what would be the reason yes rugged terrain and the unfavorable climatic condition that is option a b is the right answer the next section is political science question number 26 Select the incorrect statement about Belgium. Forty percent people speak Dutch language. Fifty-nine percent people live in a Flemish region. Forty percent people live in the Wallonia region. Eighty percent people living in the capital city Brussels speak French. So, which is incorrect about Belgium? Yes, it's option A is the right answer. Question number twenty-seven. Which of the following countries does not follow federal political system? options are pakistan australia south africa china the right answer is it's option d china question number 28 which out of the following countries has a high participation of women in public life options are france italy sweden india the right answer is it's option c sweden question number 29 women's movement aimed at equality in family and personal life are known as to be filled up movements communist feminist socialist nationalist the right answer is it's option b feminist 
Question number 30. What is the given cartoon trying to depict? Options are social diversity. Voting rights are for everyone. Two-party system is not good. A kind of effect democratic politics can have on social divisions. So the right answer is it's option D. Identify the part by the given symbol and select the incorrect statement about it. Just look into the image. The options are it is one of the oldest parties in the world. It is centrist in its ideological orientation. Founded in 1885, this party played a dominant role in Indian politics. It came to power in 1998 as the leader of National Democratic Alliance. Now, first, the symbol represents which party? What is the name of the party which is holding this symbol? Yes, it's Indian. Indian Congress Party. Okay. See, La National Congress Party and Indian Congress Party, both are different. So, this hand symbol, it's for Indian Congress Party. Okay. So, which is, which is incorrect about this uh, party? Yes, it came to power in 1998 as the leader of NDA. So, option D is the right answer. Question number 32. Select the correct statement regarding the Communist Party of India. This party was formed in 1925. It believes in Marxism, Leninism, Secularism and Democracy. Sri Kansi Ram is its founder. It secured less than 1% votes and 2 seats in 2019 Lok Sabha election. So which are all the correct statement regarding the Communist Party of India? Yes, it's up statement 1, 2 and 4. So, option C is the right answer. Question number 33. He was a famous educationist, author and theologian who was against the Muslim separatist politics. He became the first education minister of India after the independence. Identify him. Option A. Mr. Rajendra Prashad. Option B is Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Okay. Then option C. He is Maulana Azad. And option D is Mr. B. R. Ambedkar. Correct. Okay. So, which is the right answer for this question? He became a first education minister of India after independence. Yes. Option C. Maulana Azad. Question number 34. A democracy must be based on a free and fair election where those currently in power have a fair chance of losing. Which of the following countries defies this feature of democracy? New Zealand, India, Belgium, China. The answer is it's option D, China. Number 35. Which of the following is not a challenge to free and fair election? Parties with a lot of wealth have unfair advantage over smaller parties. Defeated party usually accepts the defeat as a people's verdict. Sometimes a single family dominates the party. Candidate with a criminal connection often gets tickets from political parties. The right answer is it's option B. The next section is economics. Question number 36. Life expectancy at birth denotes the average expected length of life of a person at the time of birth. Which of the following countries have the lowest life expectancy at birth? Options are Sri Lanka, Nepal, India, Bangladesh. It's option C, India. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन अग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्शन विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड इफ यू मूव ए फ्यू पीपल आउट ऑफ अग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर इट इज बिकॉज देर आर मोर पीपल एंगेज इन अग्रीकल्चर दैन इज रिक्वायर्ड दिस फिनोमिन इज नोन एज सीजनल एम्प्लॉयमेंट अंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट ओवर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एजुकेटेड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट द राइट आंसर इज इट्स ऑप्शन बी अंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट पीपल इन इंडिया टेक लोन्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेस वेरियस टाइप ऑफ लोन्स कैन बी ग्रूप एज फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर लोन्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर फॉर्मल सेक्टर एम्प्लॉयर कोऑपरेटिव मनी लेंडर्स बैंक्स सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए फॉर्मल सेक्टर इट्स कोऑपरेटिव एंड द बैंक दीज टू आर comes under the formal sector so option c is the right answer question number 39 globalization and greater competition among producers has been an advantage to small producers all the people equally well off consumers in urban areas workers of developing countries its option c is the right answer question number 40 to be filled up are the major source of credit for the rural household in india money lenders non institutional agencies relatives and friends landlords the right answer is money lenders are the major source of credit for rural household in india option a is the right answer question number 41 india observes 24th december as a national consumer days on this day Indian Parliament enacted the Consumer Protection Act in 1986. Indian government established the Consumer Courts. Consumer movement started in India. Right to Information Act was enacted. The right answer is its option A is the right answer. Question number 42. Which of the following are categorized as unorganized sectors in urban areas? Casual workers in construction, street vendors, workers in small scale industry head load workers so which of the following are categorized as unorganized sectors in urban areas so all the four will come under the categorize of unorganized sector in urban areas so option d is the right answer question number 43 select the correct statement regarding the non farm activities in an indian village non farm activities require little done people need low amount of capital for setting up the non farm activities as compared to farm activities only 24% people in village are engaged in non farm activities and option d is it's all of this which are all correct statement regarding non farm activities so all the three option a b and c will come under the non farm activity so option d is the right answer calories recommends in rural areas are considered to be higher than in urban areas which of the following is its correct reason price of the food grains is lower in rural areas and higher in urban areas people in urban areas do not depend much on food grains poverty line in rural areas is fixed higher than the urban areas people in rural areas engage themselves in more physical work so calories recommends in rural areas are considered to be higher in urban which of the following is its correct reason yes people in rural areas engage themselves in more physical work so option d is the right answer question number 45 who among the following can be called unemployed p is a lady who is not interested in working outside her domestic domain q is a 10 years old boy who is willing to work due to family pressure but cannot find jobs R is a 24 year old man who is willing to work at at the going wages but cannot find jobs so who can be called here as a unemployed yes here the unemployed is its option C is a 24 years old man who is willing to work at the going wages but cannot find jobs option C is the right answer the next section is achieve section
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स मैच कॉलम वन विथ कॉलम टू एंड सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन फ्रॉम द गिवन कोट्स सो इन कॉलम वन नेम ऑफ द पार्टी इज गिवन इन कॉलम टू देयर रेस्पेक्टिव सिंबल्स आर गिवन हियर ओके सो इन कॉलम वन विच इज अ सिंबल फॉर द कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया येस इट्स ऑप्शन थ्री देन ऑल इंडिया ट्राइनामल कांग्रेस वन इन कॉलम टू द नेशनल कांग्रेस पार्टी ये इज इट्स ऑप्शन फोर देन कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया मार्क्सिस्ट दैट इज इन मार्क्सिस्ट कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया सो द सिंबल ऑफ मार्क्सिस्ट कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी इज इट्स ऑप्शन टू सो फाइनली विच शुड बी अर आंसर Yes, it's option A is the right answer for this question. Question number forty-seven. Read the given statement and select which ones are true and which ones are false. Absence of collateral prevents the poor from getting informal sector loan. Banks always give loan without collateral. Money lenders charge higher interest rate than the self-help groups. Borrowers can approach the money lenders even without repaying the earlier loans. so here the options options are given so whichever is um, false and whichever is true yes first options of collateral prevents the poor from getting informal sector loan is false here bank always give loan without collateral it is um, it is also false whereas money lenders charge a higher interest rate than the self help groups that is true borrowers can approach the money lenders even without repaying their earlier loans that is also true So finally, your answer is false, false, true, true. So option D is the right answer. Question number forty-eight. Identify the rivers marked in the given physical map of India. Select the correct option. So just look over here. The arrow mark represents one, two, three, four. So what is the name of the rivers? One, two, three, and four. Okay, what is one here? Okay, what is one here? Yes, it is Godavari. Then two is it's Krishna. Then this one is Dunga Batra. Third one is Dunga Batra. Then last one is it's Kaveri. so finally which is um, which option holds the right answer for here krishna it is 2 then kaveri is 4 godavari is 1 and last one is dunga batra right 3 so finally option b is the right answer for this question question number 49 read the given statement and select the correct option statement 1 in indian national movement each and every social group was moved by the abstract idea of swaraj statement 2 gandhi ji said that swaraj would not come for 100 years if untouchability was not eliminated so the right answer is the statement 1 is false here whereas statement 2 is true so your answer must be statement 2 is true and but statement 1 is false Question number fifty. Study the classification chart and select the option that currently identifies P, Q, R, and S. So here the classification is given. The main classification comes under natural resources. Again, it is classified into renewable and non-renewable. Renewable uh, energy is classified into two. That is one is continuous and another one is biological. non renewable is classified into recyclable and non recyclable okay so we have to find what is pqr and s so to 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 solve this question first we'll move on to the option a start with the first letter p wind whether wind is a renewable or continuous energy or not yes a wind is a continuous 
renewable energy it is correct then we will move on to the next part that is q metals metal is a renewable no metal will comes under non renewable energy and it is and it will comes under recyclable because in general metals can be easily again and again it can be recycled right so here it they have given in the category of renewable so this q is wrong if one part of the option or one part of the answer is wrong means no need to check the remaining part so straight away mark your answer a is wrong then we'll move on to the b forest p is forest and q is water we all know forest and water are will come under the renewable energy or renewable resources that are, that is right better which will come under continuous which will come under biological yes forest will come under biological and water will come under continuous so both the options are mismatch pick and both are exchange right so what does it mean again option b is wrong no need to check the remaining then move on to the option c yes water is a continuous renewable resources it is correct then forest is a biological renewable resources it is also correct then metals as we said earlier metals are will come under non renewable and it can be recyclable which again and again we can able to recycle so this is also right then what about the rest fossil fuel yes fossil fuel will come under non renewable because we cannot able to recycle uh, these are all um, these uh, fossil fuels are made by uh, organic matter of animals and plants which remains uh, which remains buried under the soil or rock over millions of years ago right so we cannot able to renewable or we cannot able to recyclable the fossil fuels so this is also correct so finally option c must be your right answer hope you all like this video thanks for watching